Hello and I welcome you all in my another Redux tutorial and in today's video we are going to talk about how can we actually have multiple uh, reducers and we can combine those multiple reducers into one and to pass that single uh, reducer returned by the combined reducer function to the store. So for that I need to create another reducer and this time if uh, I need to uh, I want to create a new file for new reducer and that I'm going to I'm going to give it a name like to do reducer.js so in here let me just quickly copy this piece of code which I wrote in case of just a single counter reducer and just rename it to to do reducer so in this case now we are not going to have this uh, a very simple uh, state having only a one single number as an initial state what we are going to have is this time a slight complex stage comprising of an array of to-dos. So what we're going to do is we are going to create another variable and give it any name. I am just giving it an initial state and that is going to be an object. And inside the object, let's give it a to-dos key. In fact, to-dos key. And as a value of this, I have already prepared a piece of data, an array consisting of different to-dos objects. So this is going to be the initial state. So if I copy this piece and initialize my initial state with the value that I've just, uh, with, the, the, with the data that I've just prepared. So currently my initial state is in fact uh, an array of objects. So since we are having uh, now a little more complex state, so we do have uh, different actions, right, in case of to do. Uh, like we can have add to do, we can have delete to do, update to do, or things like that. So for now, let me remove this and let's keep it only one. And this action is to be like add to do just for, uh, I'm just going to try it uh, with the one action and later on I'm going to update this reducer with the multiple uh, actions. So one thing that is to be remembered that we need to, uh, in fact, the reducer function needs to update the state and the shape of the state should exactly be like the initial state. Like if we are having initial state as an object, the returned or updated state must also be an object. Like, like the shape of the returned state and the initial state should remain exactly the same. So I'm having initial state as an object, so I'm just returning an object. So inside the object, I am having an array. Uh, since uh, later on in the, in the future, we are going to add more to do. So uh, this uh, is mandatory, in fact, to preserve the previous state actually when we uh, when we want to update the state. So uh, so that we do not lose the existing state data. So in order to do that, what I have to do is just. Uh, uh, preserve the previous state by simply using these spread operators. So I'm just going to give it a state and then uh, inside this object, I am also having another array which also needs to be preserved. So uh, I'm just going to give it a to do and then array and then basically to do's and along with that, I need to insert another item which I will receive as a payload inside this action object. So I'm just going to give that new incoming item i'll just explain it in fact once i'll be dispatching the action from the ui which will be carrying uh, the payload from there so just wait for a moment so this is what actually i'm having the action type as add to do so that's pretty much it i'm returning the update state while preserving the existing state as well so what I have to do is after preparing the reducer, I have to export it, which is already being uh, exported right here. And the next thing that I have to do is I have to import this, right? Like the way we did the counter reducer. So to do reducer from this to do reducer file. And right now we are having another function inside the Redux that is uh, called as combined reducers. So how can we use that? Let's use the combined reducer. It takes up the object as, an, as a parameter. So inside this object, uh, we can pass the multiple reducers and this combined reducer is going to uh, actually combine all those reducers. So we have two reducers for now. I'm just giving it a key like uh, counter, which is going to have this counter reducer. And then we are having another property, which is 
to do's and that is going to take this to do reducer so this combined reducer function will combine these two reducers and will actually return the new root reducer so just give it a name like root reducer and that's it so we are going to just pass this root reducer to the store function so that's pretty much it actually how do we combine the different reducers into one and then pass that root reducer into the uh, into the store function like that and rest is already configured so now let's check its output uh, if we did everything correct nope uh, there is an error uh, on into the to do reducer file on line number 32 and which is which says to do's is not defined so let's check out the to do reducer on line number 32 which says to do's oh yeah this to do's is the property of this state object so that's why it is not available right here so what we have to do is we have to do it like that state dot to do's make sure just check it out this to do's is the property of the object and this object has been given a name of the state because ultimately this initial state sort of thing is being stored inside the state so with this thing done we should have that error gone so that's it but uh, we are uh, saying exactly the UI that we have already defined in case of uh, the counter. We are not actually dispatching the action for adding to do's from this UI. So let's do the last part. And for that, I'm just going to uh, go into the app.js for the time being. I'm just want to simulate it for the time being. In fact, while dispatching a hard coded action, later on we'll definitely improve it. So let's copy this button and on click we have to make this as add to do action type and then we need to pass the payload which actually matches uh, the data that resides inside this initial state um, that matches inside this initial state and that data is in the form of object so let's copy this piece of object because each time user is going to add new to do uh, he's going to add the ID title and description uh, properties of the object. So that's why uh, we have to go to the UI and write in the payload. What I have to do is to just copy this object. So, uh, and this is what. So hope so. This is this seems easy. Let me break this line just to make it easy to understand and just. Okay, so now the action type is add to do. We are still dispatching an action and this time the action type is add to do and payload is object instead of a single value. Still, this is a hard coded object. I know this is not a very good practice, in fact, but we are learning and we'll definitely improve this. We'll, we will take this new to do from the user through the form and then we'll uh, add a button uh, like submit or add and that to do taken from the user uh, from the UI is going to uh, stored into the uh, initial array that we have specified in the reducer but for now this, this seems okay so let me change the text of the button as add to do just to look a little better so i'm just hard coding it uh, this to do with an id5 because i know that i do have already uh, four uh, to do saved into the state so let's make it five as well and let's make it five as well so with that change i'm just dispatching the action on click of the button which is with the name add to do so if i go there i do have that add to button displayed over here but remember uh, we did not actually set up redux dev tool that's something we're gonna do in the next video but for now for the time being if we want to check whether our state is being updated or not we can actually go to the console and after clicking this add to do button we can console that uh, updated state right here just to check whether that state is being updated or not so what we're going to do is we have to uh, go here and write inside add to do before the return statement just add the console statement just to check it out whether our this state is being updated or not so copy this the same object that is being returned just for checking on the console that whether we are logging or we are in actually updating the state or not so if i now come back and refresh the page 
and then if we add to do make sure currently we are having only four to do's in our initial state and when we are going to hit the add to do button the updated uh, hard coded value in fact the hard coded value would be added uh, would be dispatched from here in the payload as a payload and then it will be added uh, as the last in fact uh, object over here in this array so let's see uh, if i click on add to do look at that i am having the array with five length and if i expand it out i do have this last add to do i mean to do five and description is uh, five which is being dispatched from here right from here so if i go and add it again it is going to take the initial uh, existing state with the five elements and is going to add another one uh, with the same data I means to do five and description five because this is hard coded no worries we'll uh, take the data from the user in the next video through form and then we'll update the state based on that so if i add it once again the length has move to seven and then obviously we are uh, we have added last three to do's using this ui so we are dispatching an action and behind the scene we are actually passing the data a hard-coded object to the reducer and the reducer takes in the new uh, object coming through this uh, this action dot payload and we are actually uh, adding this uh, data to the existing array so that's pretty much it for this video